Look what I did to my shirt, guys. I spilled my coffee on my shirt. Like, what the heck, man? Today just couldn't go well. Dance it on Bolo, man. There's no one that is fine. Little, little baby, oh. Wave more fire than radio. Play my sh in the stereo. And white. Let's see. This is what I got on. Ready for orientation. Oh, I think my earrings is in my other outfit that I had on yesterday. A few inches later. Okay, I'm finally ready. I hope you guys can see me. So we got orientation. I don't know about this hair, but ready to go i gotta drop malachi off at school first now i want to make sure i can get some starbucks on the way so turning off all these lights and then we're gonna get out of here okay what is this what's going on here It's Look what I did to my shirt, guys. I spilled my coffee on my shirt. Like, what the heck, man? Today just couldn't go well. I mean, I mean, this ain't all today, but I've arrived at the facility in which 
Uh, hi y'all. I'm sorry. I probably didn't introduce myself. Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Ashley for those who are new here and I'm happy to have you guys here. Anyways, so I made it to the facility. I am up my shirt. It ain't gonna be no other way. Like I have to put on a jacket to cover this up because I just dropped Malachi off and I went to Starbucks. I don't have enough time to go home and revamp myself. You don't even, ah! It's just been sitting in my car. Because I fucked up my shirt. I love wearing white, but the, the idea, I guess, of wearing white, but every time I put anything white on, I'm definitely gonna spill something on there. I went to Starbucks and I got this medium latte caramel as usual. I got something new this time. I guess this is called a Madalena cake. Never had it. Can y'all see me? Okay. I'm gonna give it a try on camera with you guys. This is what it looks like. I hate trying new food, guys. This is like a big deal. It's not bad. It's got a little sweetness to it. It's soft. But it's 806. I'm not even sure what time orientation start. I know it's like 8 or 8.30 that it starts. So right now it's 8.06 and if it start at 8, I am late. See you guys. A few moments later. Y'all, I haven't been to an orientation in a long time. This is gonna feel really, really weird. Like. I have not been to an orientation in like years. I think since the pandemic. Y'all won't believe what the hell happened. We had orientation at 8.30, so I was there early. And I got out at around 2.45ish, so roughly seven hours of bullshit. They went over uniforms, which I have not had a uniform coat in a long time. That's gonna be different. So we literally stayed in that building for a very long time in one room. If you can imagine, fire safety, tornadoes. We did fingerprinting. After that, I went and picked up the kids from school. I went to pick up Makaya from her job and I came home and crashed out. I didn't even eat dinner, like. <sighs> I want to be like, okay, so what I'm doing right now, I want to sleep with this face on. So I need to take this off. I'm going to be using 
I'm gonna be using my Holy Hydrating Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm by e.l.f. I'm also gonna be using Avino Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub with Moisture Rich Soil Extract. This is, I live by this. I literally use this all the time. And I also live by this. This is the African Black, hold on, gotta get it to focus. African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask with a whole lot of stuff. It's a whole lot of stuff in here. Pick it up, love this mask. Feels so good on your face. And then I'm just gonna be putting on eye cream as well. It's the Illuminating Eye Cream by e.l.f. And for moisturizer, my Holy Hydrating Face Cream. So. I told myself I was going to start being a little bit more honest with you guys. Let me go ahead and start because, and it's currently 4 a.m. the next day. I literally came home and slept the fucking night away. The day in the night. But I told myself that I was gonna be more honest with you guys. I am genuinely, I consider myself anyway, a open person. I'm very open and that's why I always thought that I can do YouTube. And I also have a story to tell, as most of us do. And my story is pretty, you know, crazy, but I've just been trying to like ease into this thing. Uh, YouTube is actually, when you think about it, especially if you're a person like me that don't mind sharing your story, you think you have the courage to do so until you're actually in front of the camera. I'm more of an open person, one-on-one. -on -one. I've always been that way. I'm very shy at first approach, and speaking to crowds freaks me out. It gives me anxiety. Like, I'm just talking to a camera, but there's still the thought in your mind. Thousands and thousands of people will be watching this, so once you put something out on the internet, it's out there, which, when I really think about it, it doesn't even matter. I really don't care. But I don't know what it is that kind of holds me back from telling the whole story. Or not necessarily the whole story because I give you the story. I just be like holding back. Versus if I was talking to my friends or even people I don't know. I won't hold nothing back. I'm not even sure why. Today we're going to talk about just how I'm feeling. Does this even make sense? Like, am I even being logical with myself? I came to the conclusion I had time to think about it. I'm not being logical. I know exactly what I want. I'm very impulsive. So, I know what I want. I will go and jump head first. Sometimes that works out for me. So I think the times that it works out for me, that's why I continue to do it. But sometimes it don't work out. And I kind of dig myself in a um, hole. I've seen that I quit my job. And partially it's because I was impulsively doing so. And the other part of it is that in these nursing homes, there's a high rate of turnover. You have people coming in to these management positions and they turn the whole building upside down. Which, okay, that's your building, your management, you got a new way. But nine times out of 10, the management don't stay. You get comfortable in that situation. Then a whole nother group of people start coming and then they turn stuff around again. The nursing environment is already, I feel like a toxic environment. So I don't really adjust to a lot of that stuff. I don't adjust well though. Partially is I'm sick of nursing. And then partially because that very day, one of the managements came in and just pissed me off. Trust me, I don't just run because I get pissed off. I ran because I've been in that company now for three years and I've ran through four DONs, hella management. And I've just run through so much and so I was just like, you know what, I'm tired, but I never really had a plan. I just impulsively was like, I'm tired, I'm gone. I am not a one who deals with a lot of BS. I just left. No excuse, I left. I don't regret it at all. But I had some time to think about it like, okay, you left and now what? Really no big amount of savings or anything. You can't just quit right now. And you just left. 
and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do the travel. I haven't done traveling in a long time since I've been working at this place. I didn't realize that a lot of the traveling is really, really far away. I was just like not going, really not wanting to go, kind of getting down, like I don't want to do this anymore. I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to give me another job. So, I mean, I can do the traveling. It's nothing, but sometimes I just don't feel like going. It makes more money and I don't have to go, but what am I doing with all my days? So I'm just like, okay, Ashley, use what you got to get what you want. Use what you have to get what you want. That's exactly what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna use what I have to get what I want and not just quit on everything. This thing will always be under my belt, but I'm trying to get out of the business. It ain't genuine, it ain't right for me. That's how I'm feeling, guys. That felt so good to say. I don't know if I really conveyed that message to you guys. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. And I'm ready to venture off into my own thing. I'm gonna use what I got to get what I want. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. It is Wednesday. This probably will go up today. When you're ready to venture off um, away from traditional work, like I'm so over traditional work, I wanna start my own business, I wanna work for myself, I wanna slave for myself and my children and my grandchildren. I'm tired of slaving for somebody and their grandchildren, great grandchildren or whatever. Like, I want to do that for myself, but I'm not in a position to do it right now. So, I got to use what I got to get what I want. And that's my message to you guys. Don't make impulsive decisions like me. It ain't cool. Even though I don't have no problem getting jobs because of the field that I'm in, is it really worth it starting over somewhere? No, it's not. So, make sure... Y'all are using what you got to get what you want. I love you guys. Bye. Don't call me late night. Act like you only want to talk. No. Don't call me late night. With the games, we both know what you want. Oh. Treat me like a nine to five. Put in time. Play your cards right. Put aside all the lies. Maybe I might just push up on it. If you what you want it, have you wishing for a taste, but first you got away. Let me get my butt in here and quit playing. Bye.